Continue to take a closer look into those key races in the Texas primary. And we're focusing on the major candidates running in the 32nd Congressional District. Political reporter Jack Fink is here with us. And Jack, who are you profiling for us today? Well, Gilma and Ken, today we are profiling Ed Meyer. The major Democrats in this primary agree on many of the issues, and most have been out campaigning for months. But Meyer has been able to separate himself in one important way. I'm Ed Meyer, and I owe a lot to my father, Donald. You may not know Ed Meyer, but chances are you've seen the ads on TV for his campaign to unseat Republican Congressman Pete Sessions. He's raised more than $800,000. That's nearly as much money raised by the other six Democrats combined. We're running in the 32nd Congressional District primary. People are enthusiastic about my campaign because they've seen that I'm someone that's proven that I know how to raise the resources necessary to beat Pete Sessions. Meyer is one of three Democrats in this race who worked during the Obama administration. He worked at the State Department under then-Secretary Hillary Clinton. I managed the military transition out of Iraq and made sure our diplomats and aid workers were safe and secure in Iraq after the troops pulled out. And so folks are looking for someone that knows how to take all the values we're talking about and actually put them into action and know how to get things done in Washington. Here we go. Next house. Meyer counts his nine-year-old daughter Penelope as one of his volunteers who That's campaigns door-to-door. -door, and he credits her for inspiring him to run. That motivated me at that moment to do everything I could in 2018 to make sure we were fighting for the values that we believe in. Meyer says the issue people most talk to him about is health care, and he believes improving Obamacare and universal health care are the answers. The most important thing we have to do is to make sure that everyone has quality health care. And to me, the most immediate step we need to take is to build on the Affordable Care Act and have Medicare available for every, every single person. Meyer says prescription drug costs need to be slashed. Meyer also wants Congress to pass a clean bill that would grant a path to citizenship for DACA recipients. First and foremost, dreamers are as American as anybody, any other American in this country, and we must provide a pathway to citizenship for our dreamers. He says he opposes any effort to reduce legal immigration. I think it's terrible that the Trump administration is using the dreamers as a bargaining chip for, uh, for more extreme policies to try to limit legal immigration in this country. Meyer says Democrats didn't turn out in 2016, but he believes they will show up this year. He says they are making sure they've got a unified Democratic base who are motivated to vote. And Jack, as we saw, he's raised a lot of money. He's the only one running commercials on local TV stations. So how much of an advantage could this buy him? Well, this could give him a very big advantage because if people are undecided, they may remember his name and his commercials. All the money he's raised allows him to not only air the ads, but to also hire more people to go out and get their supporters to the polls. Now, all seven Democrats have raised nearly $1.7 million. And again, Meyer has raised nearly half of that. So, uh, you know, that's, we'll have to see the impact of that. Yeah. And coming up at 5 o'clock today, we're going to profile Brett Shipp. Okay, yeah, that'll be interesting. All right, thanks so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, Jack. It.